Who doesn't love a good barbecue, hanging out with friends, eating food hot off the grill? I'm in. Mm. Sounds yes. good, right? <laughs> but this is a news story that just may have you putting your fork down. It makes sense to clean your barbecue grill with a stiff wire brush, but maybe not. Adam Watanowitz came to Tacoma General with a sharp pain in his belly. So uh, this is the uh, CAT scan. Surgeon Steve Norton saw something. And this is the wire object. Because I did have a stomach ache after a barbecue from a party I had thrown three weeks ago. A two and a half inch, very sharp wire from a barbecue grill brush. I figure it must have been stuck on my grill and then I threw the steak on top of it and it just got wedged in there. And then it just must have had the perfect projectile to go right down my throat. So who would have thought that barbecue bristles would be hazardous to your health? Well, the CDC thinks so, and they just put out a warning about it. In one hospital system, the Centers for Disease Control say six patients had done the same thing. And maybe to nobody's surprise, five of the six were men. And I'm the first one, when I started hearing about these stories, I went home, checked the, the grill, checked mm -hmm. my, you know, my brush. Oh, man. Because you have to be careful. And Adam can attest to that. He's actually on Polycom right now. And Adam, you had no idea you're eating steak a la bristles. <laughs> uh, no idea. But no clue. So how, how long after you ate the steak did you start to get the stomach pains? Well, actually, the day after the party that I threw, I uh, had a stomach ache for about 48 hours. And I couldn't really figure out what it was. And it was actually a bachelor party that I was throwing. Uh -oh. So I kind of, a, <laughs> I kind of attested it to that. And, uh, and just kind of, you know, I'm a little under the weather. And then it actually went away. And then three weeks later is when it actually came back. And uh, that's when the real pain hit. Where did it end up lodging in your GI tract? It actually ended up going into my intestine. And uh, when the doctor found it, it was half in and half out. So and that's, that's the danger of this. That's the danger. You know, these aren't going to necessarily just flush through so many other things that we inadvertently eat. You don't even realize it, but you're probably sometimes eating a little paper, other things. It just goes right through. But a bristle it's going to get lodged somewhere, poke into the side of your intestines, and then it's stuck. Yeah. And the only way to get it out is manually. Were they able to remove it through a small incision? Uh, it's, it's about a uh, three inch incision. Uh, they sealed it up with seven staples. And, and I'll tell you right now, it's not typical for me in the emergency department to see a read of a CT scan that says, barbecue bristle <laughs> in lower intestine. Yeah. No. So right. you're, it's great that you went to get this taken care of. Thanks for sharing your story, Adam.